A word I chose from our class reading that ends in the letter Y is funny. Now we will see if it has a long E or a long I sound by breaking down the word. And I will example this. Uh, n, e, f, n. So that's one letter for the F. Uh, one letter for the U. N, two letters for the N sound. E. And one Y, and you can hear it as an E, so we'll put an E to indicate that it has a long E. So now, you guys can collaborative, collaboratively work with your table partners to determine the other two words that you found. One word is sh, I. How would you break this apart? Sh. You would pair the S and the H, and then that leaves the Y. Is it a long E or a long I? Good. It is a long I, so you would write the I above it. Sh. I. The next word you can break apart is baby. Now let's break it up by sound. B, A, B, E. So we can individually mark each sound. B, A, B, E. Is that a long E or a long I? Good, it's a long E. So now, by yourself, use your own word you found and determine its meaning. My. M. I. Yeah, it is a long I sound. Now, for some gradual release of responsibility, I, can't, I could let the students build their own boxes Instead of providing them boxes for each sound, I could only do the onset and rhyme. And for the most advanced, they can use every single sound. 